Hey, Weather Warriors, an intense dust storm is breaking off the Saharan Desert headed towards the United States. I created this special animation that I'm going to go over here in a second. I'm going to show you how this evolves in the atmosphere. I'm also going to go over a, another smoke storm developing in the United States as well. So let's crack right into it. This is an animation that I put together uh, with some European computer model data showing the dust getting kicked off over the next few days. This is right now through about Friday. The values up here in the yellows and blues are severe dust, and the reds are light to moderate dust. And we're going to fast forward this. So this blue line here you see is the surface wind, and you can see these surface winds blowing to the south. This is blowing dust to the south out of the Sahara, and you can see the winds down here in the Atlantic region kind of stationary and maybe even moving north a little bit. So what that's doing is it's creating this convergence. You can imagine the wind squeezing the dust together and eventually moving east. That's creating a conveyor belt to transport this dust to the east to Florida. And you can see right around now, this dust storm impacting the Car Car uh, Caribbean, pretty intense. And then it starts to weaken a little bit as it gets to Florida, but looks to impact Florida Wednesday into Thursday and maybe even last through Friday, maybe even get up to parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, Texas as well. Uh, there were some models forecasting all the way to Oklahoma and Kansas, but I think the cold front up there is going to keep things just to the south. Uh, but this is pretty intense stuff. And just to put things in perspective, I made this uh, tool here, this uh, transect tool, and look at that. That is about 6,000, 7,000 kilometers or so, uh, five to 8,000 from the Saharan Desert to about the southeastern United States to Florida. Just to put things in perspective, if you're on, on a highway at like 60 or so, 65 miles an hour, that's a good 65, 70 plus hours of driving. That's how far that Sahara Desert dust is traveling. So that's what that's what's pretty amazing about this is that conveyor belt, those convergence winds are really keeping this blob together for several miles. And you can actually see this on satellite. If you look at this area right here, this is kind of where it's uh, centered right now. You can kind of see that faint grayish brown color. That's where that dust is currently. There's probably some more over here, but that's going to move its way to Florida over the next few days. So this is an example of a really intense dust storm. You can kind of see that curvature. The winds move to the south. They blow all of this dust here off the Sahara Desert. And then you, sometimes you get easterly winds to the south of that, or maybe a northerly winds and then southerly winds. That squeezes that dust together like a conveyor belt. And then that pushes that out and keeps it keeps the form together. Otherwise, it would just kind of spread out and fade out, and it would never make it to the United States. But it kind of acts as a jet stream, a little subtropical uh, type of jet stream. And you can kind of see this on the... Uh, 850s just off the surface. This is the wind speed. This is Africa right here. You can see those in, uh, somewhat elevated winds up 30, 40 miles an hour at times. And that transports that dust. If they, if that dust kit gets sucked into there, it'll speed up really rapidly, 30, 40 plus miles an hour. And then that's what transports it to the United States. And it really is uh, noticeable if the mid-levels near or low levels, mid-levels near uh, Florida and the southeastern United States are dry. And when that green uh, dew point value gets way to the left like that, that bubble you see there, that's indicating dry air. And that could be the case Wednesday to through Friday into Florida. Another thing to look for, well, actually, we'll look at the example of first here. So this is kind of what the Saharan desert might look like under the Sahara. Pretty intense, hard to see the sun. If you go to the Caribbean, it might be you know half this intense, and then Florida, maybe 25% this intense, but it will dim the sun quite a bit. So pretty cool there. So let's get right into the smoke forecast now. You can actually pick this up on satellite as well, this kind of this bluish gray tint here that's less defined than the clouds. You can see it spilling here during the day across the eastern half of the United States. That hampered that aurora display I talked about a few days ago. And people in all the way down to the Texas actually saw that aurora with a camera Sunday morning. So a pretty intense geomagnetic storm. But that smoke really uh, took away the show um, for the east half of the United States. We could be dealing with another one 
another smoke storm, and I'll go over that here now. So this is the HRR model. This is currently, and you can see that matches up very well with that satellite, the smoke centered over the central east half of the United States. Those reds and yellows are pretty intense, and uh, especially in the red areas, if you have lung problems, might want to keep it indoors for a little bit. So this is right now, and as we get towards uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, you can see this moves to the east, and it impacts the northeastern United States. But notice this thing developing a little bit farther to the northwest along a cold front. This is actually smoke getting pooled up along a cold front with strong northwesterly winds. Out ahead of that will be some severe weather, mostly it, from what I looked at, wind and hail, not as much of a big tornado threat. But it is kind of interesting to see that smoke stack up, pool along right along that front into Wednesday morning. This is around 5 a.m. Wednesday or so. Uh, but that front will move through Minnesota or so uh, Tuesday afternoon and then move into the central U.S. towards uh, through about Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon. And so that's where you're going to get that pool of uh, smoke. Now, this is the low-level smoke. This is near the surface. And that cold front usually is going to be a little more potent at the surface with the surface winds. That could drag some of that smoke and pool it a little bit more intensely. You can see those reds and pinks in Iowa, Minnesota. So there could be some pretty intense smoke there for a couple of hours when that front moves through Wednesday. Uh, well, we're more like Tuesday afternoon and evening. And then as we head towards Wednesday, wee hours of the morning, it'll make its way into Kansas, Missouri, and into Iowa and parts of Wisconsin as well. And then uh, Wednesday afternoon, It'll kind of stall out a little bit as that front slows and that smoke will start to spread out. The density will spread out a little bit into the central plains. But the first few hours of that front as that's developing, you might see some pretty wild smoke out there in Iowa and Minnesota and parts of Wisconsin, maybe Nebraska. So pretty crazy uh, past few days here for the eastern half of the United States air quality wise. I mean, you got some dust flying up down in the southeastern United States and you got all these smoke storms coming out of Canada. And this year, I've also seen quite a few of these Texan dust storms come up from these low-pressure systems this spring. So it's been a pretty wild year for air quality in the east half of the United States. And again, these dust storms from Sahara, uh, these typically will happen June through about August. And when that conveyor belt really gets going, you can see multiple impulses. So there might be some more of these. Um, this would be a, a more of a moderate type event. We'll see if we can get a, a really uh, severe storm event. And if there is, I'll, I'll probably make another video on that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to be making some more forecast videos here coming soon as I'm working on some graphics for the channel. And uh, subscribe if you like videos like this. Have a good day and we'll see you soon.